All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, to honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like the Akim Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Uh, it's your brother Malak from GMS Detroit. All right, hey, this is going to be a response. I was watching the brother, uh, the good brother uh, Mike Allah out of uh, Los Angeles camp, right? Great millstone, you know, ancient of days camp. And he made mention of an old scoffer, <laughs> Ted the Atheist. <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch. Hey, look, you people who don't, who come up against us, you're going to realize that you made the wrong decision. And now we're going to, we're going to do a little case review over two clips, one back in 2015, one back in 2016. This is an Edomite known as Ted the Atheist. He likes to go around and troll people. Right, uh, because you know he believes that there is no creator, which he's utterly wrong, and and, and that's the see you so-called atheists. It, it, it it's it, it it would be one thing if in your non-belief of the heavenly Father, see these people they don't become atheists to become better forms of human beings. They are atheists so that they can excuse themselves of punishment for their wrongdoing, and so that they can be cleared in a belief of an afterlife therefore they feel that they can do whatever and not have to eventually suffer for it all right let's keep it a whole buck and i got another little clip that i'm gonna have to play atheism is, is one of the highest forms of white privilege <laughs> and a comedian broken uh, a comedian broke it down but we're actually gonna let the clip play and address some of the things that he was saying here all right and now this also gave me inspiration uh, we're going to deal with the origins of evolution and atheism because it's all a bunch of BS. All right. The, the fathers of evolution, you know, as you know it, these people know it. Charles Darwin and Charles Lyell, whom he took inspiration from, they didn't come up with, you know, modern day belief of science from a place of sincerity. They came about it with a place of animosity against the Bible and against the flood. And, you know, they made these statements out of their mouth. Uh, 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 Darwin uh, Lyle made the statement out of his own mouth. He says, we need to pull science out of the hands of Moses. All right. He said that he said that uh, uh, he had, uh, what was it? Basically, hatred for the great deluge, meaning he didn't want people believing in the flood anymore. He wanted people to believe in, you know, his BS in which... Charles Lyell, you get uniformitarianism, uh, uniformitarianism, which is basically uh, the Earth is billions and millions of vajillion years old. And then from Charles Darwin, you get evolution. Uh, and when you put them two together, that's the basis for the BS we got today. All right, so let's let this play. Let's let this play. I did enough talking, and we'll get we'll get some scriptures. As a matter of fact, we're gonna start with a scripture that the brothers use perfect we're in psalms hey we were in psalms 144 how about that call uh, like that's where i left off uh earlier but we're gonna go to psalms 14 and 1 it says uh, to the chief musician a psalm of david the fool hath said in his heart there is no god they are corrupt they have done abominable works there is none that doeth good plain and simple so a person who is without belief in a higher power in general they usually tend to be good uh they usually tend to be evil people all right like i was saying earlier they're, they're they don't take their atheism beliefs to better humanity here it is the air quality is bad the water quality is bad animals are going endangered racism world war three is on the brink financial collapse is on the brink how come you atheists don't have answers all right our bible does why should I believe what the Bible says? You don't have to. That's not for you. But when, when the judgment comes and you wake up in slave, you're going to be like, holy shit. What makes you think there's going to be judgment? Because the Bible says so. Wait, when you decide the Bible says a judgment, I asked, how do you know it's true? And you just refer to the Bible. Do you believe that's, George Washington? That's circular reasoning. Don't you know it's circular reasoning? No, 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 no,
side. Okay. He plans to slay. Okay. And that's in the Bible. Okay. And also, I'm also according to the Bible, he says he's going to raise us up out of the modern day slavery and put us back in the kingdom. Okay, my question to you is why should we believe that story? This is not for you. It's not you don't have to believe So you see what this devil's doing. See, they trying to come at us with that faggoty white man talk. All right. And everybody can play the game of, oh, okay, I don't believe what you're saying. Everyone can play that game. And you can see, you know, the brother's frustration, you know, the elder brother Barack, you know, hey, <laughs> this guy, man, hey, you scoffers, and when you gonna come to the comments, you get nothing but people, you know, praising this a-hole right here, someone that says, uh, as a black man, I wish I was there to back you on this one, but then again, I would have just, they would have just called me a traitor. Yeah, you are a traitor to align with the enemy against your brethren. You don't even know the, the depths of the conversation that's going on. Goddamn, a uh, fucking leave it to a coon, man. Fucking monkey niggas. But you got uh, people praising them and cracking jokes in the comments. Uh, uh, says, uh, I laugh every time someone cites the Bible as a credible source. See, okay. Hey, this is all, all you people. Hey, it's 6.3 6 thousand comments in here. That's gonna be required of all you MFers. All right, hey, this is gonna be a, a bit, a basically a bit of a rant video. But the the brother made mention of this recently in a stream he was doing like two or three days ago, and so I went and looked up the dude Ted the Atheist. Hey, we ain't forgot about you, Mr. Ted. He did this one in 2015, and he did another little short one in 2016. Uh, all right, let's let her play some more. We are gonna hop around. And just be as as valid as your belief okay. in God. Show, tell me some about Tinkerbell. Then. I can make up anything about Tinkerbell. What do you have faith in about Tinkerbell? Yeah, I mean, we're not making anything up. But the thing is, we're not making anything up. Yes, you are. You know, no, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're subscribing no, to someone no, else's no, made up story. How is how is historical facts something made up? Okay, now you're you look like how is that it looks up? like you're capturing towards the slave how is it chain. Made? How is it made up? I didn't say that was made up. Oh, right. So I don't know why you're pointing to that. Historical facts in the Bible. We're talking about the context yeah. of a deity. Yeah. Okay. A deity. <laughs> Not about slaves. We're talking about a deity. Okay. Two what about things. Alexander the Great? What about him? Did he exist? How does that help you in answering my question? He won't answer shit, man. See yeah. Like the brother Elder Brock said, he's not answering shit. You know, the, hey, the brother Elder, not the uh, Elder Watts is like trying to deal with him a little bit. and th th But this is how the devil deals. See here, the Bible has, okay, if the Bible was false, why does the land of Jerusalem exist? How about this? To you you people who are atheists, you don't believe in nothing. If the Bible is false is, and there is no God, why do the Jewish people have claim to the land of Israel? Why are they fighting with the Arabs over the land of Israel? And if there is no God, nobody should care about the Holocaust. We shouldn't give a flying fuck, right? It, right? You feel me? You know, throw this in their face. Then they're going to be, oh, well, no, it was still an atrocity. Okay, well, when we line it up how the atrocity of the slave trade was biblically prophesied and foretold by God to happen to us, these are evidences that there is a God. And then they'll get contorted again. See, it, see, it, whenever we're matching up reality with the Bible, they don't want to deal with it. We're just dumb, stupid, and black, and they're white and right. And you see it in their rhetoric and how they talk and how they treat us. All right? Come to Psalms chapter 10. Uh, we're going to go down to... Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Okay, yep, yep, yep. We'll go two through four. It says, The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. All right? These devils aren't concerned about the Heavenly Father or the Scriptures in any way, form, or method. Why? Because it makes them accountable for Judgment Day. That's why they don't want to believe in a God. They don't want to be paid back for the wrongdoings of taking this land, of slaughtering our people. What's the evidence of that? All right, now we're going to jump to nine minutes in. All right, this is a 30-minute clip, but I'm going to jump to nine minutes in because the topic of slavery comes up and accountability. 
and of course he wants to duck and dodge it because it's uncomfortable. For mankind, for people to believe in God. Believing in God really? is bad for society. Really? So of course so it is. What do people believe in? Evolution? Yes. Evolution is a valid science, a very valid science. Okay, so so evolution, we evolved from little, but blue, blue bacteria, right? And now, uh, everything, everything you see, we evolved from little ass bacteria, right? So you didn't do much study in evolution. No, that's, that's basically what evolution is about. Okay. That's basically what evolution is about. Do you know the, the basic definition of evolution? It's a change of, buddy. It's a change of a gene pool in a given species over one or more generations. Okay, what was the first species? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly. And the brother killed him. He said, what was the first species? Dead silence. It's a bunch of made up mumbo jumbo. And and, and, and and trust me all, look, hey, I'm on the way. Hey, you know, we finna meet up some of the brothers in the camp and do a whole nother stream here in a minute. So this, but watching this video inspired me to do a set of, I'm about to do like three, four videos showing you where evolution and which you know brothers brothers better than me have done videos all, already on it. LDR Shawamba has done some good ones on them, right? But I'm, I'm you know I'm gonna dive in. We're gonna go take a look at Charles Darwin. We're gonna take a look at Charles Lyell, and we're also gonna take a look at the French Revolution. And at the uh because after you know when Esau got back into power after the Dark Ages, you know, uh basically this whole belief of no god got very popular after the fall of the roman catholic church as a form of retribu uh, retribution you know edomites was mad at the church which the roman catholic church is wicked was going off and how it was dealing and using the bible to corruptly rule right so they basically upped and said okay well there is no god you know well we, we done dealing with the bible because of how the roman catholic church was treating us and then these motherfuckers went and erected something that's known as what let's go take a look real quick type in the french god goddess of reason the cult of reason and that's something that that guy to the atheist you atheists are all a part of the cult of reason you worship science which is a cult in and of itself all right it says the cult of reason it says, uh, was France France's first established state-sponsored atheistic religion intended as a replacement for Roman Catholicism during the French Revolution. After holding sway for barely a year, <laughs> so the shit didn't even last a year, it says in 1794, it was officially replaced by the rival deistic cult of the supreme being promoted by Robespierre, both cults were officially banned in 1802 by Napoleon Bonaparte with his law on cults of 18 germinal year 10. So right here, y'all, their system, atheism is a cult in and of itself. It wasn't, it didn't come into existence at a place of uh, sincerity. Atheism came at a place of, oh, we're mad at the Bible. All right, and does that make it correct? No. Which goes to show you, like I said in that Psalms 14, these motherfuckers are simply corrupt. They're mad at the Heavenly Father for whatever, for whatever reason. All right, don't get mad you're not the chosen people, white boy. That's on you. You're the one who's going around doing killing and stealing, so you'll have to pay. All right, Ecclesiastes 7. Uh, where's that at? Uh, inventions. I know I'm staring right at it. I'm staring right at it. Okay, here we go. Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. It says, Lo. This only have I found, that Yahweh hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. All right? So these wicked people of the earth have sought out wickedness, coming up with devised fables of the origin of the earth and the planet. Okay? Something you atheists don't like to acknowledge, which I'm going to do a video on, is the great unconformity. If evolution and... Uh, if biological evolution meaning animals and people was real and if ge geological evolution meaning you know billions of years if that shit was real then you wouldn't have what was known as what is known as the great unconformity which is basically layers of the earth when you go to places like the grand canyon they don't match up and why is that because the great flood displaced them if earth took billions of years to form and we got new layers after millions of and billions of years then you wouldn't have missing pieces of sediment and you wouldn't have sea creature fossil fuels at the top of mountains and 
sand that can be found on the edge of America can also be connected to, you know, the places like Africa. Why? Because the earth used to be whole. But what broke it apart? The great flood. You atheists don't got no answers for that. All right, that's a that's a dark skeleton in the closet. God damn it! So let's come back. How does that help you at all in your discussion? If I don't know your answers, how does that help you show there is a God? You're not making any sense at all. I'm going to have to know what the original species is and see what. Oh, I'm supposed to know everything about the history. And if I don't know, then you're right. How does that make any sense? You know, you're not saying it. You know what could. Right, if I don't know, no. then you're right. Does, how does that make it? We're gonna jump. Now. It went in the past. Right. It wasn't me, it right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it's all a bit late. What's so cool? It's all a bit late. Took down the towers, right? He took them down in what? 2001. So called, he did it, right? What do you mean, so called? Well, it's all a bit late. So called, took down the towers, right? Well, they were taken down, yes, by 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 by. by, by by Muslims, yeah. Muslims, right? When was Osama bin Laden so-called put to death? They said it was rather recent, yes. Recent, right? So what he, what his crime was committed with in the past. Right. Did the white man help? Did he hold that grudge? But he's still existing. Whatever, man. You're talking about people who you died a long time ago. Your contacts, your contacts is way off. You're the descendants of the people that enslaved our people. We're still here. You're okay. So you gotta put the bill. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. You gotta, you gotta in which you know that that guy towards the left i forget his name but he didn't bend fell out uh but well, you know what the elder in the middle is saying is correct hey these devils see they don't want to pay for the sins of the past so that they, they just want to scrap it all up to luck and chance oh the great mighty white man just evolved to be the great smartest creature you know oh yeah the white man you know they don't want to pay for anything and that's what this all ultimately boils down to. And what scriptures are those? You go to Job. You go to Sirach 41. All right. See, we, we didn't find you devils ain't slick. We can break you down. We can break you down. So, uh, Sirach 41 and uh, 5. It says, The children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, the inheritance of sinners' children shall perish. And their poster posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sakes. That's what you're seeing here. This devil doesn't want to have to pay for any of his past wrongdoings. Therefore, they try to separate themselves from the past. Oh, well, that, that, that was them. That wasn't me. Well, you're still here and you inherited. You inherited the benefits of their wrongdoing and we have inherited the sufferings of their wrongdoing so if you atheists were a good batch of people wouldn't you make up for what your people what your people did in, in the past no but you're just happy to live off of our backs you got that you, right you, you were there man. you were there That's a I, was, I was there when the slavery the within you the spirit within you was there i don't believe in spirits sorry there's no spirits spirits is a man-made word it means nothing isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll jump again real quick no nope. isaiah 14 and 21 what does the word devil mean Satan. No. I think the fallen angel wrong prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. The so-called white race ancestors has been added over time. Because of what you're at So you know, you, you see this double you know, he just came up purely to talk shit, you know, from one common bullshit talking point from an, uh, from one to another. Alright, so that you know I'm gonna leave the link for this one. There's another one too, that's seven minutes. But I want to pull up, uh, let me see. Hey, right here, I'm going to just let this clip play for a second. It says, it's atheism, white privilege. You know, hey, this shit is it's, it's funny. Let's say I'm agnostic about my atheism, right? <laughs> Atheists are such smug hypocrites, by the way. Atheists will be like, you pray to a god that's so silly. Can I show you my vision board real quick? <laughs> I know a lot of white atheists, I don't know many black atheists, not none, just not many. I got a theory about why there's not many black atheists. 
Here goes. <laughs> Atheism is really like the height of white privilege. It really is, because religion basically says, like, hey, can we interest you in an afterlife? And white people are like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> How much better could it be? I'll just take my supplements and see what happens, huh? And that's the mindset of these devils, whether they want to admit it or not. They don't want to pay for their wrongdoings, and they don't want to ever have to deal with being knocked out of the power of their kingdom. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So you naysayers, when we get to see the revenge upon you, it's going to be a glorious fucking day. It's going to be a glorious fucking day. And you got to think... You know, this happened like eight eight years ago. You know, now at this point, that brother uh, still remembered it. You know, so I, 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 I can't wait neither. I can't wait neither till we get to see all of our detractors and naysayers mother effing punished. Mother effing punished. Psalms, is it 58? And I believe 10. Yep, it says... The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Uh, verily, he is a power that judgeth in the earth. So that's what we're waiting on. You, you little son of a bitch. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to destroy you and crush you. And you lucky YouTube would take my video. Otherwise, I'll say what I really want to fucking say. All right. Goddamn little, <laughs> you little, you little Q word. <laughs> we gonna have to start going back to calling people uh, by the letter and then the word after you F word, you Q word, you B word. God damn it! All right, but that was just, just a real quick video. Let me see. Ted the atheist. You know, you son of a gun. And these were his most popular videos. When you come to his weak ass channel, because he just goes around picking on people. Like I said, these scientists and all this and atheists that they don't go around the planet trying to make it better they just go around picking on everybody that believes in something this is his most popular video eight years ago 250,000 views all right and then he did another video oh wow i'm gonna have to watch this one i didn't even see this one uh this 13 minute one but he came poking with the brothers again damn i didn't realize there's the third one okay i'm gonna have to go watch that interaction may have to do another little video Damn, another one, man. Look at the, hey, look, y'all, man. See, another one right here, just coming fucking with brothers. Hey, we go. Hey, okay, okay. Well, yeah, we okay. We going <laughs> The day's gonna come, e. The day's gonna come. All right. The day's gonna come. Shalom.